Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printer here. In today's video, I'll be covering how to minify CSS files using Flask assets and another library that I'm going to install, which is CSS Min. But before I get into that, I just want to remind you that I have courses up on prettyprinted.com. So if you're interested in more structured videos on Flask and courses that take you from point A to point Z, then check out the courses on prettyprinted.com. So if you recall in the other videos that I've created on Flask assets, then you know that you have filters available to you to do something after the files have been bundled together. So in this particular example right here, you see that the filter is JSMin, meaning that the JS files that are in the bundle are being minified using JSMin. So I'm going to use an analogous process to minify CSS files. And to start, first I'll need to create some CSS files because I don't have any, because it was a really simple example. So what I'll do is I'll add something simply like CSS file one dot CSS, and then CSS file two dot CSS, and finally, CSS file three dot CSS. So not the best names, but you'll see that they get bundled together. And I just found some CSS from Bootstrap, so I'm just going to include some of it randomly because I'm not too concerned with what it actually does. So I'll just take some of these from the Bootstrap CSS. This can load a little faster, I can copy it. So let's see, I'll take all that there. And I'll just need to take from one more file and then I'll be able to show you what happens when I bundle everything together. So I'll include just this little bit here in CSS file one and I'll save that. So now I need to create a bundle with CSS. So I'll name this bundle CSS in the same way I named the previous bundle JS and it's going to include this, the three CSS files that I have. And this is all relative to the static directory. So CSS file 2.css, CSS file 3. And then I'll specify an output location. So output is going to be equal to gen slash main.css. And of course, once I have the bundle, what I have to do after that is I need to register the bundle on assets. So I'll call this main CSS, just like I use main JS. And I'll pass in the actual bundle that I've created. So if we look at the template file for the index, you'll see here that I'm using the assets block to get a hold of the main JS. And then I have the assets URL. So to do that with CSS is actually pretty much the same thing. So what I'll do here is I'll add an assets inside of the head block. But instead of specifying main underscore JS, I'll pass in main underscore CSS. And then I'll close out the block. So in assets. And then inside of the block, of course, I'll need to have the link. So you include CSS files like so. So link href sum link type is going to be text slash CSS. And the href is going to be asset URL. So asset URL is given to you by this assets block. So as long as you use the correct name here, the asset URL should match up with what your bundled files will be under. So let's take a look. Let me start up the app. So Python assets.py. And then if I go to the index, I have the home JS file has been loaded because that's in my JavaScript from the previous videos. And if I take a look at the CSS, I have this static gen main.css and then a, a string after it just so when it changes, the browsers won't have the new version cache, so they'll have to reload it automatically. So if I click this, I'll see that all the CSS is here. It's bundled together, but it is not minified. So what I'll do next is I'll actually minify this. 
So what I need to do now is I need to install CSS min. So I'll close this out and I'll say pip install CSS min. But before I do that, let me just show you the other options that there are. So I'm using CSS min, but there are other ways to minify if you have some other preference. Like for instance, there's the CSS utils, there's YUI CSS, clean CSS, slimmer CSS, and so on. And there are also compilers for CSS. So if you're using something like less or SAS, then you can have that compiled to be CSS in the end. So it's your preference, but in this particular example, I'm going to install CSS min because it's fairly straightforward. So now it's installed. And what I'll do is I'll simply add a filter. So like I said, if you're using some other minifier, then you would just specify the name here. Or if you're using a compiler, you can also specify in the filter. In this case, it's CSS min. So I'll save that and then I'll start up the app again. Assets. And then I will refresh the page. The home JS file has been loaded. If I take a look at the source, I have the CSS file, I'll click it. And now all the CSS is on one line, meaning it has been minified. So I'm pretty sure this minified file is much smaller in size than the original one because it removes pretty much all the, the white space characters. So you can save a little bit of network activity there because your bundled file has been minified and is now smaller and there's just less information to send over the internet. So that's what I want to show you in this video. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, if you have any questions about minifying CSS files or using compilers or minifying JS files in Flask assets, then let me know. Uh, I'm thinking about making a video on how to use uh, the compilers for either JavaScript or CSS. Min. For instance, you can use, uh, oh, let's take a look at the, uh, the options here. So just looking at the options for compressors. So JavaScript compressors, you can use those. Those are those, those are for minifying. And then you can have these cross compilers. So something for Babel, it says it processes ES6 code into ES5 friendly code, just in case you're targeting older browsers. And of course there are the CSS compilers. So maybe I'll create an example using SAS or something like that. But if you want that video, just let me know in the comments below and I'll prioritize it. So like I said, if you have any questions about this, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. And like I said, if you're interested in more structure courses, go to prettyprinter.com and check those out. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you next time.